how to start a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest underscore power state. The full name is community.vmware.vmware-guest-power-state, which means that it's part of a collection or module to interact with VMware community-supported. It manages a power state of virtual machine in a vCenter, exactly what we need. Parameter the following parameters are useful in order to start a VMware vSphere virtual machine using the module VMware underscore guest underscore power state. First of all, we need to establish the connection with the VMware vSphere or VMware vCenter using a plethora of self explicative parameters hostname, username, password, data center, and validate certificate for SSL. Once the connection is successfully established, you could specify the desired power state, in this case, power on. You could also force the power state change using the force parameter default disable. You could also specify the reply to some uh, answer that uh, could arise while waiting for the task to complete. Some common use uh, to allow a CD-ROM to be changed even if locked or to answer the question as uh, to whatever a VM was copied or moved. Sound familiar? To me, yes. Ok, demo time. How to start a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to start the virtual machine named MyVM using the power state, uh, okay, from the power state power off to the power state power on using Ansible Playbook. Are you ready to have fun? Let's move it on. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one Ansible Playbook to start a VMware virtual machine. First of all, let's begin our play with a name start VM demo that is going to be executed against host, local host, so the current Ansible controller. I don't need uh, any root privilege, so let me set uh, become false, and neither system information, so let me disable gathering of facts. Now that everything is sorted out, let me describe the collection used, oh, double L here, oh, here we go. We are going to use uh, community.vmware as a base collection, so we can use directly the name of our uh, VMware module. Uh, one pre-task uh, to include some variable, include underscore vars my vars.yml. This is a common uh, variable file that I'm using for all the VMware things. The task list has only one named PowerOn. So I'm using VMware underscore guest underscore power state. This module is inside the community.vmware collection that we already defined as base. Let's take care of the credential. So first of all, let me use the parameter hostname with uh, vcenter underscore hostname variable as well also the username vcenter underscore username all these variables are defined inside my vars.yml file and of course is as a general practice uh, for password user an Ansible vault uh, that is more secure now we define it hostname username password now let's use the name is the Virtual machine name, or oh, let me also use validate certs. This is a true or false variable to validate the certificate. I set also on vcenter underscore validate certs. Here we go. 
And finally, the state that we would like to accomplish, in my case, uh, powered dash on. And that's it. In a uh, few lines of code, we are able to connect to the VMware vCenter or uh, v vSphere system and uh, power on the desired virtual machine. Virtual machine uh, named VM underscore name, in my case, is my VM. And we are ready to go. I'm going to show you the variable.yml, but is the same as other lesson. Let's see together the variable.yml. This is a simple file. As you can see, each of the defined variable has a value. In my case, my cluster is vmware.example.com. I have a data center, VMware data center, I disabled the certificate validation, and there is a username with a clear text password, and uh, the machine is called VM underscore name is my VM. Now we are ready to start. Let's move it on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect with, to my Ansible controller machine via SSH, DevOps is my username, and demo.example.com. Here I have a directory called VMware, and inside there are the file that uh, I'm working on. These are my Ansible playbook, and let me execute the code with ansible-playbook command line command. And VM underscore start YML is the name of the playbook. The execution is started and as you can see was successfully included the variable. Now is working on the task power on. This is going to connect behind the scene to the VMware API and try to execute the power on action on the machine. The execution is super smooth because uh, need only to connect and wait uh, for the VMware result. We got a change status, which means our machine is uh, moved from power off to power on power state. We can double check executing again the same code, and this time we are expecting OK status, which means the machine is successfully power on. Just a few seconds more. This is taking just some moment, it depends by your connection speed, by how busy is your cluster, and in a blink of an eye, Ansible return OK status. Great, we automate one task today to start up our VMware virtual machine. Yay! Are you happy? Now you know how to start a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. Thank you for watching this lesson. If you are curious to automate more of your infrastructure, keep watching this course and I will show you more and more things. Have a nice day! See you on the next lesson! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!